Avengers! Assemble. Hey, what's up, y'all? Marjack79 here. We are back in here today with another Marvel Legends The Infinity Saga action figure review. Today, we are taking a look at the Captain Marvel and the Rescue Armor 2 pack from Avengers Endgame. Very excited to get this in. Picked it up from Amazon. Pretty sure it was $49.99, maybe. I don't remember. May have been $39.99. Be completely honest, I don't remember, dude. I think it was about, it was between $40 and $50. It's been so long and I get so many figures, I just be forgetting from time to time. <laughs> but comes with the Captain Marvel in her updated Avengers outfit from the 1990s. Comes with in the Nano Gauntlet, that's pretty cool. And he comes with the rescue armor with the Pepper Potts head sculpt. Kind of a cash grab. We did bring out the other rescue figure to do a comparison, but as you see, it's already looking extremely similar to uh, what we got before. The only difference is the Pepper Potts head sculpt. Like, why didn't you just include that? And this one here. <laughs> but i mean i guess i understand the updated captain marvel outfit there pretty cool the updated hair style as well so whatever so let's spin it to the side uh the same promotional imagery that we've seen time and time again spin it to the back here captain marvel uses her incredible powers to battle evil in the ultimate fight for the fate of the universe and rescue outfitted with repulsors in the unibeam rescues a pepper suit is ready to step into battle against thanos yeah yeah spin it to the side same old same old spin it to the top spin it to the bottom all right man let's crack this baby open and let's take a look and we're back man and now we have our captain marvel and our pepper pots and rescue out of the package let's get a close-up of the captain marvel here let's look at the face sculpt comes out really good very happy with that and the hair sculpt comes out beautiful beautiful face sculpt looks just like Brie Larson honestly outfit comes out good yeah very happy with that man take a look at our pepper face sculpt here that comes out good as well I don't necessarily know if I'm gonna pose her with the face sculpt I mean I'm gonna pose her with one of these figures it's gonna definitely going to get the face sculpt for, for sure but this looks great Comes out good. Let's go ahead and get this comparison out of the way. I mean, it looks exactly the same. I mean, this is kind of a little bit bluer. This is white. The shelling of the armor is a little bit bluer. This is a lighter shade of blue. So definitely more, I guess, screen accurate to the movie. I feel like the armor was definitely a darker blue than what we're seeing here. I got mine posed with the flying armor. I mean, of course, this comes with the flying armor as well. Let me brought up our other pepper pots here. I mean, this face compared to this face comes out good, man. I mean, it looks just like Gwyneth Paltrow. I have no complaints with these face sculpts at all. I mean, it definitely makes it, you know, questionable whether or not you would ever think about getting the SH Figure Arts version of these figures. Because, I don't know, man, I just think, especially with the Brie Larson here, the Captain Marvel, um, when I looked at the SH Figures version of this figure, I mean, um, the Marvel Legends has its be has it beat flat out. I mean, there's just no comparison. So, comparing with the older, the Captain Marvel movie version, comes out good, man. I really like how it, how it turned out, for sure. No, no complaints of the aesthetics of the figure at all. That's going to look great when we get it onto the shelf. Okay, let's spin them around. Let's get a look at it from the back. So, more so than anything, I just like doing the comparisons like this just to compare the outfits from movie to movie. So, look at the plain looking outfit of the original Captain Marvel movie. The shiny blue here, the red. Looks good, don't get me wrong, but just the updated outfit with the sash going on here. Looks cool. Very cool, man. Very satisfied with how this came out. Um, let's look at the Nano Gauntlet here with the Infinity Stones real quick. The Marvel Legends version comes out good. You got Rescue back. The 0049. I'm sure that has a special Marvel reference to something going on there. I don't necessarily know what though. And the Rescue. Hair scope for when a Prostro look comes out great. Looks good, man. Looks good. Very happy with that. Like I said, still very similar to the original release. 
but it just makes the difference in the world when they include the face sculpt or the head sculpt of the person that's actually inside of the suit. Um, let's get a look at some of the accessories here. Got one of Paltrow with the face plate open. Got the rescue helmet there, comes out good. The armor set with the flight pads open, blast effects. And we have the open uh, flaps here, you plug into the back. We will go through all that here shortly. And Captain Marvel just comes with some hands. Would've been nice if she came with like, maybe a greeting teeth face, something. I don't know if she's punching or whatever, but she didn't. No big deal though. Let's go through their articulation here. Set up Captain Marvel first. Head down, up, tilt, tilt. Rotate 360. Rotate the arm 360. Up. No bicep swivel. Elbow swivel 360. 90 degrees. Wrist rotate 360. Torso. Your chest more likely rotate 360. Push down. Don't really get a whole lot there. Push up. Get a lot there. Straighten it back out. Sash. Not attached to anything. Very loose. Leg. Kick forward. Kick backwards. Don't get much. Knee. All the way back. Out. Thigh rotation. No knee rotation, no ankle rotation. Push the ankle down, push the ankle up, tilt, tilt. So you can tilt it, but you can't rotate it. So it's on a perpendicular peg there. Kind of got an ugly leg joint with the Captain Marvel legs here. So be careful with that garbage. It's on a regular ball peg there. Doesn't really figure kind of does a bad job of uh, separating to kind of hide that peg there. So keep that in mind. Pepper, can't go down at all. Can't go up at all. Can't tilt either. Rotate 360 though. Ooh, careful with that hair though. Yeah, sheesh. Arm, rotate 360. Up, bicep swivel. No elbow swivel, push it up though, 90 degrees. Wrist, mm, yep, gonna be, just watch out for the shoulder, uh, the wrist guard there, but rotate that 360. Torso, down, up, leg, kick forward, kick backwards, up, all the way, thigh, Rotate to the left, to the right. Ankle down, up. Tilt, tilt. Cannot rotate it though. And yeah. So if you wanna take this back piece off here, well actually here, let's take off the head here. And put on the normal rescue head. Like so. I'm gonna take this back piece off here. Comes off like so. Just attach with the peg and plug in this piece here. Plugs in relatively simply. Just line up the peg. Bing, like so. Comes out good. Yeah, so I have finagled with this for long enough. I've been trying to figure out where to plug these little ports in for this other accessory in the back of the figure, but I'm not seeing any, any anything, man. Um, I've looked on the back of this figure. I've tried to plug it in to the port here. I've tried to plug in both of them at the same time, but it is just not working, dude. Uh, <laughs> let's see all my frustration here. It's not working, so. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing in the back of this accessory pack. There's nothing in the back of this accessory pack where this port will plug into to give you the look of the flight pads shooting out. So that's stupid. I'm sure somebody has figured it out. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. I even tried to put some put some sticky tack on this figure to get them to stick, and it's, it still ain't working. So, you know, my patience is uh, exhausted. Yeah.
I am drinking tonight and I am not spending another second on it. So moving on, <laughs> we put the rescue head scope on there. So that comes out good. Uh, let's compare it to the other rescue head scope here. It looks fine. I do prefer the newer one to the old one. This one had a blue look. This one looks white, more lit. Same thing with the chest plate here. It comes out good. So I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to take this head scope off and put the normal Pepper Potts head scope on there. Put the the regular back on there. Then put the exaggerated flight pose on the back of this figure. Then we will go from there. So let's do that. Oh yeah, and I definitely do have another gripe while we're posing these figures around. So the little blast effects can plug into the feet here, but she didn't come with any blast effects or extra hands to plug in to the hands to shoot some repulsor blasts out of the hands okay a little half assery if you ask me <laughs> i mean i would have rather have had that than these accessory pieces that don't work you know just me i'm just saying man that's you know but at least the pepper pots head scope can fit on the older body so that's cool that comes out good man so let's test out this head scope here real quick too just to make sure all right, so we got the helmeted face pepper on the older body here. That comes out good, fits fine. Um, the helmet is a little bit darker than the shelled body here. Keep it, so keep that in mind. We did go ahead and try out the Pepper Potts head on the original Iron Man 3 pepper body. That does not work. As you can see, the pepper skin is definitely lighter than this body here. I guess you have a tan going on in this movie. <laughs> so, yeah, keep that in mind. That does not work at all. All right, man. So, this is what we got going on here. We have uh, the new Captain Marvel in her pose here. We have the rescue, the updated pose here with the helmeted. Then we have the older rescue body. The pepper pot's head comes out good. The normal pepper pots going on there that still looks good i'm still not a fan of that body which we can get like a business suit pepper pots kind of maybe trying to put that head scoped on but you know beggars can't be choosers of course do i recommend this two pack sure you know I, i'm 50 50 on it to be completely honest i mean if you're desperate for uh the in-game captain marvel i would definitely recommend this over the figure arts version the figure arts face scope of this girl just does not come out good at all so i definitely recommend the, you know the marvel legends if you can track it down kind of sucks i was considering using maybe the photon version of captain marvel to put on the wrist but that's just not going to work it's just too much you know activity going on on this figure this is probably still my favorite captain marvel marvel legends because it's got the effect pieces so but this will take precedent in the display though because it's the newest version of, of her so but these two will always hold a special place in my heart though man so okay let's go on ahead and let's move everything to the museum here and we will finish All right, man and now we're back and now we have our captain marvel on the shelf Got the classic Captain Marvel behind her, standing next to the Iron Spider and the Scarlet Witch. The Nano Gauntlet at her feet there. Comes out really good. Very happy with how that turned out. And then we have the rescue behind uh, our figure arts Iron Man and next to Thor. Comes out really good as well. Kind of have her in the background there, but so I feel like that comes out good, man. Really like it how that turned out. Having her posed with Tony. And then take it down here. We have our full time Captain Marvel kind of behind the Guardians there next to Loki. It's kind of funny because that spot is eventually going to be for the Marvel Legends Sylvie when she comes out. We take it down here. Then we have our old rescue armor with the pepper head sculpt next to the Tony of his head sculpt. So. I like that comes out good as well. So, you know, all in all, when it comes to the nostalgia of the shelf, it turned out really well. That definitely made it worth the price of admission for me. Like I said, do I recommend the two pack? Sure, man. I mean, if you don't have any Captain Marvel or Rescue in your display, then yeah, absolutely. The two pack is a must have for an MCU fan. But if you already have versions of these characters, not a must have, but you know, just a 
have the updated outfit of each character on your show, you know, that's always a plus. Even though I have no doubt that when Captain Marvel 2 is announced, uh, she'll probably get a new outfit again. Definitely can't wait to get a Photon and as well, you know, the uh, Monica Rambeau from the Vision and Scarlet Witch. So very excited to see what they do with that and see what her outfit is going to look like. So, okay, man, I think that is going to do it. So as always, thanks everybody for watching. If you like the video, do me a favor, hit that like button. If you want to see more from my channel, do me a favor, hit that notification bell icon. So you'll see whenever I upload a new video, you can follow me at youtube.com slash smartjack79. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one. I think Quicksilver should definitely be next in the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe action figure and game for Mars X-79. So I will see y'all then. Until the next one, catch you guys later.